Um, but it is a massive, massive project. It's quite incredible. I don't think, I don't know if we've all got our heads around the size of that project yet. And the numbers of jobs and opportunities that will be there for our youngsters when they get a little bit older uh, are quite considerable. And we're talking with them about apprenticeships and courses and things that they can offer, or will offer in fact, uh, they've already said they would, to have some good pupils. Also, I wanted to mention to you that, don't forget, students coming to school now will be in education in some form or other until they're 18. And I want to mention to you our sixth form. Um, students coming to the school now have the opportunity to work their way right through to 18 with a variety of courses. Uh, last summer, we got our first set of A-level results because our sixth form is relatively new. Uh, but 97.5% class rate, well, we thought that was uh, pretty good uh, for a first go through. I wanted to point that out to you. Now, you may have already got a little bit of a flavour tonight. I don't know, maybe if you've walked around, you maybe thought it's actually quite a long walk around. I think the first time you come through the doors, and I certainly remember when I did that nine years ago that that was the case, I uh, feel that it's a maze and lots of places to go. Actually, we're not that big a school, and we have only 750 pupils. I think that's hugely advantageous for us because when I walk around now after I finish talking to you, I'll be able to talk to the students, the students talk to me in the corridors about what's happening to them on a daily basis, and I know them, they know me, and that applies to all the staff. We all do better when we enjoy what we're doing. You put more into it, you get more out of it. It's as simple as that, really. And these people work very hard, like these two young men behind me and all the students you'll see around the school. And remember, they're here tonight because they want to be here. They want to tell you how good their school is and what they're doing and how successful they are. They're the people who are making this school a success. They're the people who are putting in outstanding performances. And I have to tell you, I'm immensely proud of all the work that they do. I'll go back to my earlier point. We in this school, you'll find on a day-to-day -day basis, place a lot of emphasis on English, maths and science. We put a lot of emphasis on the core subjects. They're the key things. Uh, Michael Gove, who I have a lot of mixed feelings about from time to time, frankly, ladies and gentlemen, but he was talking about maths and science being the languages of the 21st century the other day. Now, I don't agree with everything he says, but they're crucial. They're crucial for everything people are going to do. And if we haven't got good literacy skills, we'll have problems. So. What we're looking for is equipping young adults and making sure that they have a solid foundation for the life that they're going to have after school. There are still, as you will see tonight, lots of other things going on. We do very well in PE. We have Sports Mark Award. We do very well in music. And Nathan, who was up here, you can see his, his little smiling face at the bottom of the pictures there, uh, smiling out over his guitar, because he's one of the many musicians we've got working hard in the school. And those things are in lessons, but they're also things that people do outside school time. We're also working very closely with our primary schools. And it may well be that some of you youngsters out here tonight will be working with some of the Hasselbrook teachers over the next six months or so. I'm going in tomorrow to talk to people uh, at Graham James about how we can work with them. And next week I'm talking to people at Abbots Hall and there will be other primary schools we're working with. We're looking to make transition and the move into secondary as smooth as possible so that the youngsters are used to working with and seeing our staff and when they walk through the door here, they can continue that uh, and, and make the best possible progress. We do think though that youngsters have to start to become independent. They have to learn to start to manage themselves. They're 11 years old, they're very quickly going to tell us that they're independent, especially as soon as they hit that phenomenal age that ends with teen at the end, you know, numbers like that. They're going to tell us that they know what they're doing and what good adults they are, but we do need to encourage them to try to be independent. And we're very keen to pursue that. I mentioned the planner here, but there are lots of other ways that you'll find uh, that we're encouraging them to move forward. I've already mentioned that there are lots of things going on in the school. We have a show. Nathan's mentioned this year it's going to take some form of a talent contest. Um, we're always encouraging people to develop their skills outside lesson time as well. 
And as I said earlier on, you bring people in. It's important that whatever we're doing in school has got something to do with what the world is really like out there. We're part of the real world. The students are going out to be part of the real world. It's important that we do that. And we bring people in to help that to happen. And we had a, a very good visit last year from Stephen Metcalf, the local MP, uh, who worked with our uh, older students in citizenship uh, on their campaigns that they were doing. 